been a while since I've been woken up by a crying baby that needed a bottle. I have one of those in my house right now. Not a human baby, a goat baby. So yeah, here's what happened. Come on, Autumn, you gonna follow us or are you gonna make me carry you? Come on, pretty girl. Come on. You coming with us? Well, she chose that she wanted to be carried. She didn't want to walk. She says, what, walk? After I've been snuggled and babied and pampered. So Autumn spent the night with us and she got lots of bottle feeding. And we hope that that has increased her energy and her ability to maintain her temperature. So we are going to put her out with the goats while we're out here with them. And then if she doesn't seem okay when we're done with chores, we'll take her back in with us. We'll just make her a bottle baby house goat. Oh, she loves us already. She really does. What a sweet girl. Okay, can you just bring it over here for me? Yeah. Thank you. Sweet helper. Just right here. The dogs are right here. He's got Titus's breakfast. Titus went out at 4 a.m., I think, because he had diarrhea in his kennel. You can put it down right there. So he's kind of been fighting diarrhea for a couple of days now, but he's acting normal otherwise. I don't know what he got into that's made his tummy upset, but I'm gonna put some slippery elm on his breakfast and hope that that soothes it a little bit. So I put little Autumn down with her brothers and Mama went right over and sniffing her, but she doesn't know what to think. So we'll let them hang out together and hopefully create at least a bond with her brothers that will keep her friendly with the herd and in good spirits. What's that baby? You're gonna make a garden bed? Yeah. Okay, sounds like a plan. Oh wow, you've already got a pretty good start. Yeah. What are you thinking about planting? What do you think you're going to plant? Mm, I got the floor probably, um... It's got to be stuff that handles cold weather. Probably the red peppers. I mean the peppers. Those don't handle cold weather. Do you know what plants do co handle cold weather well? No. So things like roots and leaves. So carrots and beets. Or collards and kale. You like those, don't you? Yeah, I think I tried them before. Yeah, you have. <laughs> what do you think, Liam? <laughs> You're doing really good work. You think you'll be a farmer someday? Yeah. I think you already are a farmer. Is this a rock? Uh, that looks like a big chunk of wood. Or dirt. That, that's pretty hard to stick together. All right, you guys be careful not to hit each other with your tools while you're gardening, okay? Well, the ducks aren't out now, but how did you do it? How did you get the ducks back in? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Look at me when you're talking. Okay, what? So first we just go through this um, crack. Uh-huh. And then it works. <laughs> then we just got them going the other way. <gasps> they just go. There. 
So they squeeze through the fence? Yep. Well, I was thinking that must be how they're doing it. I just hadn't seen them do it. I'm glad you caught them like that. Now we know, right? Yeah. Yeah. So all the ducks are back in thanks to the boys. Good farmer boys. Those ducks are funny. Oh, I'm not doing that right now. Can I do it? <laughs> when we're leaving, yeah. Oh, you want to do it right now. Hearts and time only, please. Hearts and time only, please. Thank you. These girls know exactly where to go. Good girls. Not, 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 not. Dominique only. Daisy always tries to come out with Dominique. Dominique knows she's coming out, and she knows exactly where to go to. Dominique's food has MSM on it every day now to help her with her joint health. I'm going to go ahead and try to milk out time into the bottle for Autumn. She's not really giving me that much now. Um, I think that she just hasn't had enough milk for all three babies, and that's the biggest part of the reason why she chose to reject one. Um, so we are working with that as best as we can. All right, I got some milk for Autumn. We're gonna give her another bottle. Let's see how she does. This is what I was hoping to see. She is curled up with her brothers. So she's at least getting her bonding time with her brothers. Let's see if I wake her up. Hey, baby girl. Hey, baby girl, you hungry? Hey, baby. Bottle over here. You want some? Oh, she smells it. She smells it. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, she wants it. Let's get you to stand up, sugar. It'll be easier. No, don't eat my camera. Don't eat my camera. All right, I think that's all she wants right now. She really wants to just cuddle with me. She likes cuddles. I'm trying to wipe the milk off your mouth. Oh. There you go. Go snuggle with your brothers for a little bit while I finish up my chores. Come on, girls. <laughs> come on, Tommy. We won't rush you. You can come nice and slow for your little hurt knee. And get everybody else out there. Oh, time, you're crying for your babies, aren't you? Let me go get them. They don't follow the big goats. You guys go get some hay. I'm gonna go get her babies. You guys watching out? Hearts is a little escapee. What are you doing, Hearts? You're supposed to go out there and get some hay with everybody else. Yeah. Go on, girl. Let me go get those babies. You behave. Hey, sleepyheads. Mama's looking for you. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Harvest and bring him out to Mama to calm her. And then I'm gonna weigh the two little ones to do a comparison weight. Harvest was over a pound heavier than little Corny and um, Autumn at birth. So, he has been a healthy eater from the beginning. So no worries for him. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him out. I don't need to weigh him. I'm sure he's gained weight. I can tell just by holding him. And he looks bigger. Don't you boy. All of the goats get lots of affection when they're young. This helps them be good pets when they're older. And it keeps it easy so that if we have to do any maintenance with them, they're easy to catch. Contrary to popular belief, it does not make a mother reject a baby if you handle them a lot. In fact, it's quite the contrary. It will actually make the mother bond to you more so. So, don't hesitate to give your babies lots of attention. It's good. All right, I'm gonna weigh Corny first. I have a feeling he's gonna weigh a lot more than he did at birth. They're over a week old now. Whoops. They're like 10 days old, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah, 
So they're about 10 days old. And, whoops, not as easy to put in the bag as they were when they were newborns. And they fit in there so nicely. Now he's like, barely even can get him in. <laughs> Once I get his legs in, without breaking too many quail eggs, I'm knocking him off the table. I think he'll be fine. There we go. All right, so got him in the bag. Let's see what he weighs. Oh yeah, that's a good hefty weight gain. This is not perfect because it is touching the wall a little, but it's it's a good estimate to use. So he's between nine and nine and a half, depending on how I hold the scale. Yeah. So I'm gonna say nine and a half pounds. That means he has gained four and a half pounds. I'm willing to bet my lottery ticket tonight <laughs> that his little sister is nowhere near that. And then we have our little rejected baby. <sighs> Rejection of a triplet is not that unusual. I stated it right from the beginning that I was expecting it to happen, especially for a first freshener. That is why I chose to get Autumn on a nipple right away so that she would know how to take a bottle and it wouldn't become a battle of trying to teach her to take a nipple. So if you know that you want to bottle feed your babies, start them as soon as they've had their colostrum. Only give them colostrum the first three days for sure. So let's get her weighed. I'm afraid it's gonna be a lot less than brother. Uh, as I suspected, significant difference in her weight gain. Seven and a half pounds for her. That's two pounds less than her brother. That is a significant amount of weight for something so tiny. That is really a lot to be off on. So, my instinct from birth was correct. Then, as I noticed signs, once we bring the goats out, it's pretty sunny and warm. So for her to be shivering was definitely a sign of caution. And that's when I took her in the house. But the good news is, is we know what to do. We know that we need to take care of her. We need to keep her body temperature controlled properly. And we need to keep her well fed. I just noticed that this fence post was out. That maybe that's why the goats were out. <laughs> Corny, are you already tasting hay? You silly baby. You silly brave little baby. What are you doing? You trying to pick up that baby? Yeah. Oh, you love that baby, huh? Yeah. That baby loves you. Yeah. All right. Gentle, make sure you're not squeezing the neck so the baby can breathe. You gotta put your hand on its chest. There you go. Good job. You're a good, good baby. And Autumn is back to laying down. I think he likes you. Make sure you're careful putting him down. <laughs> Sweet baby. Can I pick up this one? No, let's leave Autumn alone. I'm trying to get her to take a few steps. I took the coat off just to make sure that it's not impeding her desire to walk at all. Yeah. 
and she still just lays down. So she has no energy. I don't think I'm comfortable leaving her out here. She's gonna go back in the house with me. I'm gonna give her as much time as I can out here playing, well, watching the other goats play at least, and then bring her in when I go in. I just don't want her getting stepped on or anything for her laziness. Beginning and bottle supplement with just one bottle a day um, and leaving her on mom, but we were finding that that was not improving her situation at all, even though we were using mom's milk. And so we knew that she was not improving. She wasn't getting worse, but she was not improving. And by this point, she should be bouncing around. So we knew that it was time to increase her bottles. And then when we saw the shivering and crying, we knew it was time to just completely pull her in, get her warmed up in the house, and get her lots of good meals in her belly. Dominique, you rubbing on me? You're my girl. Dominique and Daisy. Rubbing on mama. Corny here just tried to nurse on Dominique. Dominique looked like looked at him like, are you crazy? I ain't even got any milk and ran and hid behind me. What, you don't want that baby? Corny doesn't care, he'll nurse on anyone. No. Liam, don't put any weight on her. No. No. All right, I just want to make sure you weren't putting weight on her. No. It's okay to snuggle. A bigger scale the world in trying to get this little girl to bounce. She's not bouncing, but she's not laying down, so this is good. And I think I might just try to leave her out here just for a couple of hours, and then come back and check on her again, offer her a bottle again, because she is actually walking up the hill with her brothers for the first time. That's a good sign. Her brothers are being very attentive to her. Her mother, not so much at all. Her mother has completely, completely rejected her. Um, which I knew was happening early on, um, even before there were any problems with the baby, mom was already doing so. And that's typical when a mother knows she can't take care of all three, that she doesn't have enough milk, she will typically reject a doe before a buckling. Bucklings just happen to be stronger and hardier, so we definitely want that doe to survive, so we're going to do everything we can to make sure that that happens. I wanted to say thank you to everybody who sent us. Prayers and well wishes for Ryan's grandfather's passing. We appreciate that. And um, it's very kind of you. And we will see you next time on Wholesome Roots. <laughs>